Ryan611 here, and welcome to a very special tutorial. Um, if you've watched my 50 sub special, as we have reached 51 subs as to the date of this video, um, this is the Zamaroots Armored Train. Uh, so, this is the main car, and we're going to be doing a tutorial on it today. So, I'll give you a quick look around if you have not seen the um, show off video. So it is based off the Zamarut's, um Armored Train of World War One, and you can also take a look at it on Battlefield One if you pick that game up. So you have the um, this is the main car with the two big artillery cannons, which you can get inside. First, you have to climb up these ladders, and if you want, you get ladders here. You get up, and inside, and I have it black stained glass to where you can see out. Now, uh, this is black stained clay, and it is black because I am using the color corrected clay uh, pack, texture pack, just because you know, you can't have a poop colored train. Sorry, but no. <laughs> It'd be a big brown yeah, you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so you can get inside both the turrets same way. These are the fire control towers uh, which are on the train they're black boxes but you know I just kinda added the little detail um, and of course they have machine guns bristling in the middle on the side so you can get up and get in here you can even fire these machine guns because I have dispensers down here and then they are also okay for looks and we have eight of those four on each side and then you can get out right here and if you want you can make storage right here with uh, chests. <clears throat> so, uh, that is the little tour. I'm going to turn off shaders and we are going to go ahead and get on to the tutorial. Alright guys, so first thing we're going to do is build the track, which is a uh, small little four wide track I've designed that goes down a bit. It's very simple. So what we're going to do is, it's going to be 23 blocks long, so we're going to dig down 1, and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and there we are. Did I mess up somewhere? Yes, I did. Okay. There we are. And so I'm lining it up with this one, just so I can make sure I'm doing alright. Um, and then it's going to be four wide, so three, four, and then we can just take out all of these blocks real quick. And we we'll just do that real fast. And guys, I am doing uh, the whole train. This is just the one section, and I will be doing the next one. I'll, next one's Thursday. That'll be the the like choo choo pusher car. Then the coal car next Tuesday and the secondary car on Thursday of next week. Okay, so your first, uh, what you're going to do for your tracks is take your stone brick stairs and come every other one, or place every other one, uh, every other block, just like that, all the way down till you get to the end, and going to just do that on both sides just like that and then we're going to place dark oak slabs um, in between the ones with stairs the blocks with stairs in them and then we're going to go ahead and place gravel uh, we're going to break these blocks and place gravel down there or you can do sand if you're in a sandy environment, but if you're in pretty much anything else, I prefer gravel. But, you know, your choice, if you can keep grass if you want, or not. Um, I find that around my area, it's either usually a little bit of sand or gravel used. But, I live in Kentucky, so... Um, in like just grain the sand. All right, so uh, and then we're going to take regular stone slabs and just place them all the way down on top 
of these uh, stone stairs, stone brick stairs, so that's the word I was looking for, and on both sides, all the way, just straight line, all the way down, I don't want to do that, alright, there we are, so now, uh, that is the track, you should have uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 boards down, and should be, again, 23 blocks long. Alright, so let's get on to the actual train car. So for the train car, you're going to come down three stone slabs, and on that fourth one, place a block, skip one, place a block, mirror it to the other side. And we're going to come all the way down to the other side of the track, and do the same thing. So count three, and then on your fourth one, place a block, skip one, place a block, and there is your sets of wheels for the car. And now you're going to, whoa, that one's, nope, that one's fine. That one is messed up. There we are. And so, let's fix that real fast, sorry. Now we're going to uh, place black hardened clay, just like this. And then we're going to uh, break these and place upside down stairs where the wheels are. And we're going to do the same to the other side. So, just like this, and continue on, and up again, upside down stairs where the wheels are, not like that, there we are, and then we're just going to continue this all the way down to the other end. Fairly simple base. And when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Now, on the back here, we're going to take two. And then on the front here, we're going to take uh, two. There we are. And then there and there. Perfect. So again, now you should have something that looks around like that. So we're going to start at the back here, and you're going to come up. Uh, a few. Where are we going wrong here? Oh, okay, I see what I did wrong. We're gonna do that, then that. There we are. Sorry. And then we're gonna come up with that uh, one. And then you can go ahead and place iron trapdoors there and levers there. And then we're going to do some here. And then. Uh, so the turrets are two by threes. So you can already tell by this, I'm doing a 2 by 3 base, so 2 here, 2 there, 3, 3, and I already know these are like that, but um, the turret does not start there, it starts there, so you should have something that looks like this, there are blocks underneath these, and you have, now you have the 2 by 3. So you're going to come up with these, another, and one more and then you're going to do this little maneuver and do a, a two by three in the middle and then a uh, one on either end with three cobblestone walls facing out this side and two slabs of stone brick slabs there and there and that turret is done for now. We'll do the finishing touches a little bit later on, but we will go ahead and add the fire control tower. Just place a block, four iron trap doors along the bottom of it, and then a lever. Now if you face the other way, it does look better, but whatever. Um, why did you... Oh, you are not connected, are you? There we go. Okay. So, now we will go ahead and do this other one. So, um, as we can see, it starts right here, and we'll go ahead and do the little front section with slabs here, and iron bars here, here, and here, with buttons on the front. There we are. So, if you take a look, you have the uh, tower starting 
right here. First, we're going to place these blocks with their slabs on top. And now we have the makings of the turret up here. And you, again, you have the two by three, and then the two. So, and the cannons can be faced forward, sort of, because or can't be because if you do them forward it'd be uneven that is why I have them facing sideways and that is why it is a 2 by 3 kit also so up like that you're going to do the same thing as the top of the other one a small 2 by 3 with prongs on the side and three long uh, cobblestone wall and the fire control tower of course which place arg down there? Thank you. And lever there. Flip that, and it's starting to come together. Uh, if you want, we can go ahead and place the buttons along the coal wheels along the bottom, just like that. And we can get rid of that and that. Perfect. Now, you're going to uh, see that above this, uh, the block, after the wheel, you have some blocks, and right there, there is no block actually, because you have a, um, we're going to go ahead and just, you'll see in a second, we're going to follow these lines up with blocks, just like that, and you have a three here and you can just do that I believe and we'll just be destroying some of these later and then you have one here like that oh I did not turn off shaders I just realized they are maybe a little bit clearer or not to see for me it is a little bit um so from here you have the slabs going like this. It'll look weird at the moment, but it will come out better in a bit. And then here is blocks, right? Yes, and then here's blocks. And then we can break those. No. Yeah, those, those are broken, and then we place slabs there, and these are gone, with this in the middle, that there, and for here we also have a slab, and I think that is that, and then we're going to run blocks over the top like this just like that perfect and then we have right there those are not supposed to be there that and we can break those and put these here perfect okay now that's in shape Whew. and then we place uh, wooden trapdoors here and here Make sure those open towards either this block or this block, because letters are going to go up here. Perfect. Okay. It's all good. We can, yeah, actually keep those that way. And so now for the, uh, these holes, the machine guns, we're going to do dispensers, uh, beneath each one for guns. If you don't want these, then you don't have to have them, but I prefer them. I think they give them a nice little touch. And uh, you can also shoot out of them, which is always cool. And then we're going to do open trap doors on top of each of them. So you can close them over if you don't like. And so they can look like they're ready to fire undercover machine guns. Um, I like to think, like, if you want to, you can even, like, place, since if you're in a new version of Minecraft, anyways, you can place that there, break that. 
it can be open, and then you could be closed with the machine gun, but that won't work in a bit. <coughs> so, you have that. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so now we're going to do a little thing. So, first you're going to grab some either nether bricks slabs or um, dark oak. Whichever one you prefer for a darkness to black, or a lightness to black. <coughs> Man, my uh, voice is hurting a bit. And then you're going to mark this first hole and this last hole with blocks right next to your train. Like that. And you're going to come under and break these slabs until you get to the farthest marker. And it's getting a little dark outside. I was thought it was raining, but I disabled weather. And then so at this last marker, you're going to start doing other bricks or um, the other slabs. But don't forget to place these slabs back as you go. And as you come back, you're going to stop at this marker here. So right there, I'm going to stop. And I can just place all of these back and get out. <coughs> and I can break these markers. And now you have, you can come in here and break all of this so you can now stand and walk in your little uh, room in here so what we're going to do real fast while we're in here is get some ladders and some dark oak fence gates and some levers we're going to do levers here uh, all of the dispensers for the machine guns ladders here where the trap doors are obviously and then uh, open fence gates where the uh, above the dispensers you'll see why in a second or you know by the show off and then there we are we can come out and now place uh, fence gates closed ones like that on top of each of these trap doors and there we are so, that's a lot done. We're going to grab this tripwire hook and this button, and we're going to do ladders up here with tripwire hook and a button there. We're going to do ladders here and here, and the same on the other side with the ladders and tripwire hook and button. So now we're going to go for some of the finishing touches. Ah, uh, grab a cobblestone wall. That, of course, and that. Uh, so up here, you're going to do a little of this with a slab on top, and then two cobblestone walls, slab on top, and over here, another one of these with a slab on top. And those are just like the little odds and ends, smoke, I don't even know what they are, uh, little towers. And then you're going to uh, <clears throat> place some of these tripwire hooks because I forgot them up here and back here. Or, well, I guess this is the front. That's no, back. And so, uh, I know there's a few more touches. We're going to grab some black stained glass and place it here if you want to be able to get inside these and see out of them. And you can get ladders and a trap door and break that block and do a ladder up. In fact, you're going to want to place blocks in here first. There we are, as a floor. And then there we go, ladders up and trap door there. And trap door here. Blocks and ladders up door sideways. Sideways, there we go. And we have the glass that we can see out of, obviously. Which is uh, not extremely noticeable, and even if you do notice it, you know what, you can see out of it, so it kind of makes it look like a newt. If you know, guys, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, whatever. Um, so, now, the last touch that Oh, by the way, put arrows and fire chargers in the dispensers if you want them to fire. 
that's um, the one more touch that I recommend. Forgot to put these there. Is uh, black banners as armor over the two block gaps that you see. Now, you can do this or you cannot. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I do it sometimes. I think it looks. It makes it look good, but uh, it looks just fine without it too. And it definitely uh, this this. Um, actually, we're gonna break that because we'll need that. This uh, build definitely definitely um, is helped by shaders and color corrected corrected clay, obviously. So we're gonna grab some iron bars, button, trip bar hooks again, trip bar hook here, buttons, and iron bars right there. And you can even still do a banner right there. <coughs> So just like that, buttons, triple hook, and better. So that is your uh, World War One Zamaroots armored train behemoth, whatever you want to call it. Um, look up the uh, the Wikipedia page on it. It's very interesting and it's a very cool thing that I did not know about uh, before Battlefield One came out. Interestingly enough. So, I hope you all have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, it definitely helps out. And if you're new and you like t tutorials like this and uh, gameplay videos, all kinds of stuff that I do, please subscribe and help me get to 100. Although we have just reached 50 and it is a great goal and that is where this build uh, was came, came from was because of you guys. Uh, we reached 50 subscribers. Alright. Thank you guys for watching, and this has been Zeekman611, and I'm out. See you next time.